Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Alpine Linux inside Beehive, VM Beehive, uh, running as a guest uh, operating system. And I'll also show you how to attach, how to connect via SSH from host to guest and uh, what's required to run Alpine Linux as a guest. All right, so first thing we need, you go to alpinelinux.org and section downloads, standard, right click here and take the link. So copy link location, open terminal, make sure you root and type VM ISO and just copy paste link. So it will download this file from, for us and store it in, in, into its uh, local registry or catalog of ISO files, available ISO files. So if you want to see which, which ISO files you have downloaded already and stored, just type VM ISO. So that's it. Uh, that's that part. Right now, what we need to do, we need... Uh, so now we need to copy a template for Alpine and it's stored here, user local share examples vm beehive alpine conf and copy it into zroot vm templates. Next step, uh, open that alpine config file. Uh, make sure that CPU use amount of CPU cores you want to use. I will use eight. Uh, I'm on 30 on 16 core 32 thread machine. How much memory? Let's say 16 gigs. Don't touch anything else here. Uh, except this vanilla has to be renamed everywhere where you see vanilla, it should be called LTS. So in order to do that, I'll just do a group renaming. That's it. I'll save it now. And next thing we want to do, we need to create the virtual machine from template. So to do that, we type VM create dash T Alpine. This is the name of the template. And that was the name of that conf file from here. So just this part, the base name. Then we say how much we need space. We need, uh, let's say, 100 gigs. And what's going to be name of the uh, virtual machine? I'll say Alpine. So to command to install, it's vm install dash f Alpine Alpine dash standard dash three one dash x86 underscore 64 dot iso. Enter. Uh, right now we are in the grub. It will boot Alpine. Linux. Uh, in order to or to log in, just type root for a login. Right now, uh, you can set up the system with the command setup Alpine. Just enter. Uh, select the key map we we want to use. I'll type US. Uh, asks me which variant. Let's say US International. What's the name of the host name? Let's say also Alpine. Uh, do you want to initialize your uh, network available device, ETH0, yes. IP address for ETH0, use DHCP, yes. Uh, do you want to do any manual network configuration, no. What's the password for root? Type your password for root. Which time mean? Let's say UTC. Uh, do we use any proxy, no which NTP client you want to run. Uh, default is crony, but I'll say open NTPD. Uh, from which server uh, mirror you should download files. Let's say one is default. Which SSH server should be used. Let's say open SSH. Uh, which device you want to use to install. In my case, that's VDA, as stated here, and probably in yours as well. Uh, do you want to use it as system, data, or LVM? Mm. I want to use the system. RS about disks, yes. 
installation is complete, please reboot. All right, let's reboot. And right now we are booting into a just installed uh, Alpine Linux. All right, let's uh, log in as root. All right, we are there. Uh, let's see what's the IP address. IP address is this one. And it's also on the same network where is my host. So I can do, oh, one more thing. I don't want to use this as root. I want to use a proper uh, user. All right, just type add user alpine. Actually, let's create a user called mtasic inside. I want to use mtasic. You can use whatever name you want to use for that user. All right, so now I want to test if I can SSH into guest from outside. Uh, are you sure you want to connect? Yes. What's the password? Oh, password. Yeah, I typed the same password. It works. So I'm inside. So here, this is the direct console to a virtual machine, but here I have SSH. And that's basically it. That's how you install the Alpine. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Goodbye.